Greetings in Christ. Welcome to our channel, Heaven's Warning. Wishing you a blessed day in Christ. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. In our world, there are signs of growing chaos, an unsettling sense of unease as natural disasters increase, economies falter, and darkness threatens to overwhelm. But what if this isn't just a natural occurrence? What if it's a prelude to something greater? This is the message revealed by Gilicardia, an Italian prophet, and Father Michel Rodrigue, a priest whose vision of the Great Warning has left many in awe and fear. It is a prophecy of God's mercy and justice, calling humanity to prepare before it's too late. In a message from the Most Holy Virgin, humanity has been warned, the Great Warning is near. This is not simply a forecast of disaster, but an invitation to transformation, repentance, and a return to God. The Virgin Mary has asked for more intense preaching and evangelization, as many souls are being lost to hell. At the same time, she calls for courage and faith in the face of the upcoming trials, promising that her angels will shield the faithful from every enemy, even making them invisible to those who would harm them. What is the Great Warning? The Great Warning is a supernatural event where every individual will have a profound revelation of their sins. This is not just an intellectual understanding, but a deeply personal experience that will lay bare the state of their souls. The Great Warning will be a moment of truth, where God's light will shine into every corner of our lives, revealing our failings and the harm we have done to ourselves, others, and God's commandments. It will be a critical moment for humanity to turn back to God or face the consequences of their choices. However, this revelation will be too overwhelming for some, and as Father Michel Rodrigue revealed in his vision, there will be individuals who cannot bear the weight of their sins and will die, not because God wills it, but because they will be unable to endure the divine truth laid bare before them. Before the Great Warning takes place, the world will experience a time of great distress. Father Michel Rodrigue saw the earth shaking in violent tremors, with mountains falling into the sea and entire cities being swallowed by the earth. The sky will grow dark, and it will feel as if the world itself is groaning in pain. These events will not just be physical but spiritual, as humanity's collective sin reaches a breaking point, manifesting in the form of global disasters. Economic collapse will also spread worldwide. In the vision, Rodrigue saw people desperately trying to use money that had lost all value. Crowds roamed the streets, but there was no life in them, only fear and despair. Nations will rise against each other, plunging into conflicts, while communism spreads like a plague tightening its grip on societies and enforcing control. The spiritual and physical darkness will be unlike anything humanity has ever faced, with faith dwindling, churches being desecrated, and countless individuals abandoning their relationship with God. In the midst of this darkness, God's mercy will shine through. The Great Warning will be his final act of love and salvation. As Rodrigue described, the sky will darken and a great luminous cross will appear, visible in every corner of the earth. The light of this cross will emanate from the wounds of Christ and will penetrate the hearts of every person on earth, showing them their sins and the damage they have done to themselves and others. This will be a deeply personal and painful experience as the full weight of one's actions becomes undeniable. For some, this experience will be so intense that they will not survive it. However, it will also be a moment of profound grace, offering each person a chance to repent and choose the path of goodness. After the Great Warning, God will extend His mercy further by granting humanity a period of six and a half weeks to repent. This time will be a gift of unparalleled value, an opportunity for every individual to make a conscious choice, to embrace God's grace and walk the path of righteousness, or to continue in sin and face the consequences. During these six and a half weeks, demons will be bound, unable to tempt people. However, the struggle will not be over, as individuals will have to fight their own sinful tendencies and habits. Those who turn to God with sincerity will be marked by their guardian angels with a light cross on their foreheads, a visible sign of their renewed faith and commitment to God. This mark will be a symbol of protection, but also of a deeper spiritual transformation. Following this period of mercy, the world will witness a great miracle. 
It will occur in sacred places such as Garabandal, Saro del Tayac, and Medjugorje, and it will be visible to everyone, even through modern technology like television. This miracle will be the final sign of God's mercy, the last call for repentance before His justice is enacted. However, soon after this miracle, evil will make a powerful return. The devil will spread lies and confusion, using science and technology to deceive people into believing that the great warning and the miracle were nothing more than natural phenomena, devoid of any spiritual significance. Many will be swayed by these deceptions, especially those who did not fully commit themselves to God during the period of grace. The vision of Rodrigue also spoke of a terrifying time known as the Three Days of Darkness. During this time, the forces of darkness will overtake the earth, and the faithful will be led by angels to shelters prepared by God. These shelters will be hidden from the eyes of the enemies, and only those marked with the light cross on their foreheads will be allowed to enter. The rest of the world will be plunged into a darkness so deep that even light itself will seem to retreat from the earth. During these three days, the forces of evil will be eradicated, and Satan's followers will be defeated. God's faithful will be protected in their sanctuaries, preserved to witness the dawn of a new era. As the three days of darkness come to an end, the world will be cleansed of all evil. The devils will be destroyed, and their souls will fall into the abyss of despair, never to return. Those who remain faithful to God will be prepared to live in a new era of peace and holiness, where the justice of God will reign supreme, and humanity will live in perfect harmony with their Creator. This prophetic vision is not merely a warning of destruction, but a call to repentance. The time of God's mercy is still with us, but it will not last forever. Now is the moment to turn to God, repent for our sins, and prepare our hearts for what is to come. Those who trust in God and follow His commandments will be protected, but those who ignore this call will face dire consequences. Each of us must reflect on our own lives and consider the path we are walking. We are invited to come closer to God with humility, to trust in His mercy, and to strive for goodness in all that we do. By doing so, we can face the future without fear, knowing that those who walk in the light of Christ have nothing to fear. As we prepare for the great warning and the trials that are to come, let us also pray for God's protection. Heavenly Father, I pray for the protection of each person reading this message. Surround them with your divine light, shield them from all harm, and guide them in every step they take. May Archangel Michael, the great defender, stand with them, keeping the forces of darkness at bay. Let them walk in your wisdom, strength, and peace, and may their homes be filled with love, unity, and faith. Guide them, Lord, through the challenges that are coming, and may they always remain in the shelter of your love. Amen. Thank you for being part of this journey. Your presence and engagement make this exploration meaningful and impactful. Until next time, may you find inspiration and hope in the shared stories of our human experience.